In this morning's Health Watch, billing your doctor. The average time you spend waiting at the doctor's office is 24 minutes. Many times that's longer than the appointment itself. Now, as Maya Rodriguez reports, some patients are fighting back. I'm fine. Time is money, okay. something Cherie Kerr knows firsthand. Her hourly wage means time spent away from work is money lost. And nowhere was that happening more than when Kerr showed up for doctor's appointments. Over the years, I would find myself getting really mad just sitting in a doctor's office with a magazine and waiting and waiting and waiting. And it, it just infuriated me. So I finally decided that I was going to just do something about it, and, and I did. What she did is begin to bill her doctors for their tardiness. When Kerr's eye doctor was 45 minutes late for an appointment, she deducted $150 from her $223 bill and sent a letter back explaining she wouldn't pay it in full. The doctor's office agreed. If they're going to start charging us now for being late for an appointment, which many of them do, I think we need to do the same thing to them. I think that's only fair. When a physician does fall behind in the schedule, it can be uh, a variety of causes. Dr. Uh, William Jesse all, has been studying uh, doctor's offices for over 30 years now. And according to him, physicians typically allow 15 minutes or less for each patient on their schedule. For a primary care physician, for example, a, a family doctor, a pediatrician, uh, a general internist, uh, they may see somewhere in the ballpark of uh, 20 to 30 patients a day, but uh, if they're seeing mostly minor illnesses, that may go up to 40 or 50 uh, patients a day. Hey, Fred. How are you doing? Dr. Cyrus Picari figured out his own solution to the time crunch. He pays his patients $50 when he runs late. A lot of people say, well, my time is valuable, and physicians will charge no-show fees, for example, for $50. But I think to be truly just and fair, you have to go both ways. Dr. Picari says before he established his I own practice, he was forced to see as many as 50 Thank patients you, in a seven-hour day. That's very much the treadmill of factory medicine, Come on in. where you're running, running, running all day just trying to keep up and see more and more and more patients. So he opted for a change. At his medical practice, he now sees only 10 to 12 patients a day. Mr. Gregory? And patients say they appreciate Dr. Picari's effort. Is he usually on time? No, he's always, he's always on time. As for Cherie Kerr, her best piece of advice, talk to schedulers about how the office runs and choose wisely. I think you should go shopping for a doctor just like you shop for shoes. You, you, you want to get the right fit. You want to find somebody who's going to take good care of you, you can talk to easily, and who's going to honor and respect your time as much as you do theirs. Maya Rodriguez, CBS News, Dallas.